A new man passing by. Life is good. Best I've ever felt. Okay, you guys, are you ready to go for a walk? You're gonna go for a walk with me. But I also want to motivate you to get out sometime today, the day you're watching, whenever that is, and go for a walk. I don't care if it's 10 minutes, 15 minutes, or like a good two or three hours, which is what I'm hoping to do today, just because it's good for you. Great weather, hopefully you have decent weather, but it feels good to walk, it's just hard to get out there. How many of you can agree with that? <laughs> it's hard to get out there. So this morning, even though I had a few things to do in the around the house, I ended up doing someone's dishes and someone's counters um, just to be a nice mom because it was really bad and I didn't want to sit and look at it all day. We have a late night tonight. Um, I'll tell you about that in a second. I woke up and I immediately put on my workout clothes because I was like, I'm not gonna make the excuse of, oh, I'm already dressed. Nope, I put my workout clothes on, did the dishes, Clean the counters, did some laundry, had a banana and a breakfast drink. And now we're going. Yes, it's 10.30, but <laughs> I have been awake since 6 or 7 a.m. this morning. But I was able to rest a little bit more after that. And then I've checked my emails. I officially have an appointment for my Tesla to get fixed, finally. Oh, I had to decide, I had to pay out of pocket for the remaining portion of it that my insurance won't cover. So I finally have that appointment, so I was coordinating that with emails and whatnot this morning from bed, which is always pleasant. Tonight with Ashley, we get to go to the um, Seattle Storm game over there in Seattle at the Climate Pledge Arena, which is gonna be really fun. They said it's gonna have record crowds and it'll be hard because it's on a weeknight. <laughs> so traffic is gonna be difficult. So I need to have my game on the second Ashley gets home from school today and aware of the traffic Battery died. I'm sitting at a stop sign. Anyway, traffic is going to be horrible. Um, it's not only is it rush hour traffic, but we're heading into Seattle on a game night. I don't know what other games are going on tonight, but it could, could be bad. So, we're going to go get our walk in and maybe run and get myself a Cafe Rio. It's three times the points today. Um, and I, I would use my rewards. I have a $10 rewards, and I probably still have some gift cards. Um, but I also want to use the um, three times the points and build up my rewards for when I don't have gift cards. <laughs> so it's kind of a game you play. So I'm gonna, I might get myself a good salad today and some extra protein, some meat for my late lunch um, just because it's gonna be crazy um, going to this game right after school. We won't have a chance to eat dinner until we actually are heading home from the arena. So it'll be a late night. Um, I will have a sandwich made for Ashley, but I won't have a chance to eat dinner myself. So we're gonna get nice and full so I'm not tempted as much to get arena food. Okay, let's go for a walk. Hey, where have you been? I've been looking for you now and then. Someone just like you who can make me feel the way you do cause if i'm the ocean you're the rain we only need each other baby you know we're the same let's run run away all i need is you now and always all right, did five miles. Proud of myself, because I know there's some more walking that I'm gonna be doing today. I have to walk to the arena, parking lot, back and forth. So, hopefully I'll get another mile or two in for the day. Maybe I'll get to seven miles for the day. That'll be like a good goal. Um, but I'm gonna go get my Cafe Rio. I think I've earned it, and it's a really good, I mean it's salad. So it's good, good protein, hot. And I forgot to turn my car on to cool it off while I was walking. Usually on my like last quarter mile, I turn the car on, but I forgot to. So I'm trying to cool off here for a second. Did you guys go for a walk? Are you gonna go for a walk after you see this? Just go out for 10 minutes. Start with 10 minutes and add 10 minutes every time. Go out after dinner, go out when you wake up, walk with your coffee, 
whatever. It feels good once you do it. It's just hard to get up. And as the weather, for me, gets hotter and hotter, um, it's not terrible through the summer, but it's harder to walk in the absolute heat. Um, and so I'm gonna have to start getting up in the mornings. And I'm waking up early, because it's lighter in the mornings. So I need to actually uh, start to get up and go earlier in the mornings which will be hard because I like sleeping in. So if I can do it, you can do it too. So let's go get a good salad for lunch. I'll head home. Kaylee is at home taking care of her chickens and then she went and walked Daisy for me. I probably will walk her again in like an hour maybe and then Chelsea will be home to walk her. I've got my step goal achieved. I've got my exercise goal achieved and uh, another one I think on my, like, on my whatever exercise app or whatever it is. Okay, I think I'm procrastinating because I'm so hot. <laughs> also, I got these cute shorts. Okay, put the car in park. I got these, you're not gonna be able to really see them. Let me. So I got these shorts from Costco and they're two layers. So the outside layer is like this really nice, it's stretchy, but it's kind of like a swimsuit material almost. Um, I don't know how to, I don't know what it is. But then underneath is it an attached pair of like biker shorts but they're not like terribly tight um but they they help a ton and so um i don't i like wearing biker shorts when i work out and go walking because you know chafing and whatnot it's more comfortable but i don't like the look of myself in just a plain pair of biker shorts so having a regular pair of shorts with pockets there's pockets here on the side and then i don't know they're just are nice so it's nice to have the second layer, but it's really thin, so it doesn't like heat you up too much. So I'm like totally digging these. Um, I want to go get more, but I also want to lose weight first. So it's kind of a catch-22. Okay, got my salad. That took a really long time. It looks very good. I always get extra sauce, because the sauce is where it's at. All right, I got showered. I felt really good to get showered, and then I just did my eyes and a little blush on my cheeks. Not that I don't already have pink cheeks <laughs> from being out in the sun, but it feels good, and we won't have to like go back out into the sun aside from like walking from the parking lot. I have one hour until Ashley gets home, so I just want to be like fully ready to go. In fact, I've got her uniform all sitting right here. We had to make sure we had all the parts to it, and I'm going to get my clear bag ready. Uh, I bought myself some flowers the other day. I wanted to show them to you. You hold it this way so you can see them. And when I bought them, these two were like these guys. They were like in total balls. These are peonies, my favorite flower. Um, and so just today they have bloomed and popped open. This guy is the biggest one. This one, I was hoping to have all purple ones, but this one just kind of looks the best. I have a little light, very pale pink one right there. And then this guy here hasn't opened up quite yet. And this one is just starting to kind of get a little bit bigger. So anyway, these kind of make me quite happy and ready for sun, summer, but I need to get my bag transferred from this one to clear bag, which actually I might put an order in for some things that I've had on, what is it called, the TikTok shop, because I just need a different kind of wallet, both for my regular purse, but also for like taking places like this. Plus it's kind of nice to like run into a store sometimes without my whole bag. Like if Jason is driving and I just want to run into the store, this little coin purse here is, <laughs> It's not really cutting it these days. Kind of have to keep like my insurance card, my driver's license, my credit cards, my debit card. If I go to the bank, my... <sighs> anyway, so I'm needing a different kind of wallet for that. I need to take that with us. Take headphones in case we're there a little early. Um, I will put on some like perfume right before we go, but I don't know, need that now. I need to charge this battery because that went dead the other day. Yeah, this morning. I guess it happened this morning. Chapstick and sunglasses to drive over there. It's hard to like not take this guy with me because it's so useful, especially for like games like this, but I just can't take it. So that will stay here. It's my little stash right here, but I'm also going to go and get, oh, and these are our tickets. These are our tickets for the game. Abby's ticket is at Will Call. She is going to be fun because she just left to, oh, you're falling. Sorry about that. 
sorry about that. She just left to go pick up her friend, Sienna. See, I, I don't like this wallet to use in general because it's too hard to get into the pocket. But I this is what I have to use to like take cash and I take credit card and my driver's license to the game. So obviously I'm not gonna show you those, but I do have to take those to the game with me. But it's just hard to, anyway. But Abby went to pick up her friend from the high school, Sienna. You probably saw her in our videos in Japan, which was kind of fun. Um, her sister is one of Ashley's teammates and will be performing tonight. And so they decided to go to Seattle to go over to Pike Place and go see the gum wall, just be tourists. They just kind of fell in love with like being tourists in Japan together and like having that freedom to like walk around and shop and do touristy things. And so they want to go do that together. And then because I have to take Ashley to the stadium um, or the arena, I guess you call it, I take her early. So Abby and her friend have time to kind of hang out downtown Seattle. And then they'll meet us at the arena and she'll get her ticket from Will Call. That took me less time <laughs> to fill up that little, oh, I need to get waters put into the freezer. I can't take water bottles like my, look at this stash. Also, I'm so mad. Is this dishwasher done? If you guys have been here for a while, even just a few months, right before our trip, if you remember, I couldn't find something. Have I a new one? Guess what I found yesterday when I was trying to find my silicone ring that fell down on my floor in my car and I rolled the seat all the way back. The passenger seat. Who sits in the passenger seat that uses said water bottle? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a little 11 year old culprit who stuck this all the way underneath the seat so it didn't roll around on her feet and I didn't see it till today. So now I have this guy. Can't take it today because you can't take water bottles in. But now I have also where is the other one? Well, I have a stash right here that <laughs> no one wants to put their water bottle away. Um, so they just sit on the counter after we wash them. So now where's my other one? This is ridiculous. But I have two now. Two Awalas that size. Where is it? I swear. I lose one. I find one. I find one, I lose one. This is ridiculous. I know it's not in my car. Well, anyway, I'm gonna go get some water bottles from the freezer. Water bottles from the fridge. I should say. And then, um, see, Abby is headed to Seattle. I gave her strict instructions. I said, going to Seattle is not easy, and it's making my heart, my mama heart, a little nervous. She's a good driver, but Seattle is a different game. I get nervous driving to Seattle. So I told her, you must call me when you head to Seattle. You must call me when you have safely parked the car. You must call me when you get back into that car leaving Pike Place and heading to the arena and then call me when you park the car and I'm having her pay for the parking at the arena. I'm gonna go to a lot that is off property and we'll walk over. It's a nice day, so it'll be nice. I'm gonna let her, <laughs> I'll probably, you know, have to pay her back because she's got, got her card. But I gave her strict instructions to, um, I'm, I normally am not like that. She's a good driver and whatnot, but it's a different game and she's only 16. So anyway, I'm gonna put two of these guys in the freezer. Oh, for me and for Ashley to have so that I don't have to spend. These are probably $8 at the arena and you can take one in. I think you can take one in. We're gonna put it in my bag because <laughs> I think sodas, the last time I got a soda, I think it was $8. I still might do that for myself tonight, but I'm not doing that for water. Also, Abby made sugar cookies last night. She needed something to do. She had a migraine and then she started feeling better. She just needed something to like zone out and do and baking is her thing. So yummy cookies of which I've ha only had a half of one, not even half of one. I've only had like two bites of one. I was like, I don't need to eat this. As yummy as they are, I'm, I might have one with frosting on it. I ate one dry without the frosting on it. All right, I have one hour till Ashley gets home. It'll be crunch time to get her hair pulled back tight, slick, whack, all that stuff. Get her into her uniform. She will be hot walking over, but she'll be fine once she gets to the arena. Okay, Ashley's home. Got pom-poms so we don't forget those. I'm gonna fill up my water to drink in the car, but I can't take it in. Waters are cold, but not frozen. Okay, slick back hair, bow, sandwich, no red and lipstick. water. Okay. No red lipstick? I have it, but I don't like it. Well, we'll do it when we get there, okay? It's you can even do it before you go to perform, not like while you're practicing. How about you do that? I can't, can't bring anything back to stage. Oh, okay. Everything is much harder when it's not in the normal spot. Like my sunglasses are very bottom of I the can't find it. clear bag. She can't find them. I'm trying to drive and shut the garage door. My phone is charging. <laughs> Try to eat cookies while. Well, you're trying to eat your sandwich. And then I just ate it. You, you mount down that before we even left the garage, which was nice. Just Threw away the crusties. Okay, yeah, yeah. let's go fight traffic and head to 
your second to last performance. This is your last big game, correct? And then you have one. No, yeah, but did you want to get to set you to set her all the dates of mature games? Dates of what? My here games. Okay, different topic. We'll talk to you guys on our way. Okay, came to our favorite really, really safe parking garage. It's like the cleanest garage I've ever seen. <laughs> yes. And it was there's five the <laughs> There's our car. Um, and it was five dollars more to park here than a parking lot that was directly across from where we saw the girls lining up at the stadium. I missed the turn to go into that parking lot. But at the same time, like this is it's very safe. Makes me feel good about like our car. It'll be kept safe. Um, they have security guards across the front entrance. So every entrance. And it's easy to walk. And I always um, leave room for 15 minutes to walk over to the arena. So we're gonna get some more steps in. I've gotten like thousands of steps. And you look really cute. Can I take a picture of you by the Space Needle? I think I've done it every every game so far. So let's head over. Luckily it's good weather. Yeah. Not hot, not well, rainy. Last time, I know we were like going in the pouring rain.
at the game died on this camera twice. I brought a backup battery, had it in my hand. The second and the first one died, and I heard him put in um, a new battery right when Ashley's team was performing. That one perform or that one died halfway through her performance. We probably need to get new ones. They're, they're old. Yeah, they're just. I'm like, what the heck? These were brand new batter, like brand new charged batteries. So, anyway, it would have been a beautiful sunset for her to film on our drive home, um, but you know, alas, I didn't have. I didn't want to use my phone. Um, look at our beautiful flowers. I just love peonies. They're so pretty. So pretty. Um, but it was a great game, a lot of fun, and it's fun now that we, um, now that we've traveled with these other families, like we see each other at these games and we're just like, how are you doing? And we've made connections through friends in our area and, um, the hair, there's one of them who's a hairstylist here in town and she knows so many of my friends, <laughs> like so many of them from when I was first married here. So that, that's just a fun connection and our coach went to high school with the owner of Daisy. Like she went to high school with my friend who lives just around the corner from me. And um, anyway, it's just fun to kind of hang out with them and chat with them at the game. So it's not like just me sitting there. I was like, oh, this went fast. And, there, and all the moms were like, yeah, because we actually have someone to talk to now. We're not just sitting by ourselves on our phones because we don't know anyone. So it was fun. Thanks for holding down the fort here, Jace. We just didn't want to pay the $35 to have him go to the game. Besides, I got hung up with people. Yeah, I knew it was going to be risky for him to get there in time with traffic on a regular work night. And so I didn't bother yeah. giving him a ticket. But Abby had fun. She came um, and went to Pike Place with her friend, like I said, and then they met up um, with me at the arena and they left afterward and went and got pictures. They must have gone to Capitol Hill or something. They got amazing photos. They drove somewhere and got some photos of the sunset. And then they're at Dairy Queen right now. And then she'll have to take that friend home. So, and that friend lives way in the boondocks. <laughs> so, oh, she does live way out there. Yeah, she lives way out there. Abby will be all right. Yeah, she'll be fine. She'll be fine. Um, so, we're gonna sign off. I've had a long day and I am officially at, well, here, let me look at my, look at my watch real quick. We've been tracking my miles today and I think I've officially hit, oh, You need to do, snap. you need to start a, a walking club with all the ladies. <gasps> we should do that. Like I was talking about this morning, I'm like, like oh, well, I said. A walking club where you're just like, you, you do your walk and then at the end, everybody who wants to can put their comment how much they walk that day. Let's do it. Let's do, do it. Club just to support each other and be like, hey, get out there, do it. Yeah. And again, if you didn't walk, it's fine. It's okay. You just maybe don't put your miles down. Or you can you put know, like how many minutes you walk or how many miles or both. Or whatever exercise you do. It doesn't have to be walking. No. Maybe some people do elliptical. Maybe some people do swimming. Yeah. But then people can do it. Everybody can kind of just be like, Good hey. Idea. Well, because I started this whole day out like trying to like, Okay, yeah. we're I'm walking this morning. Let's well, you use this as motivation. Well, you could do and then just drop in another one of your little walking thing and just okay, everybody. I did my walk today. What are you talking about? Okay, forget Don't what he's. Don't add it in the middle of everything. What I'm saying is no, it's fine. Every day. Like your walking group. Okay, For, forget him. <laughs> no, that's just too I'll complicated. All right, I know what Jason's saying. He wants me to make a new video every single day about walking for you guys to comment what you walked or worked out or whatever. I'm not gonna do that, that's a lot of work. So every day, I'll understand, we are all in our little little workout group. Every day, no matter what video it is, if you've done some form of a workout, exercise, walk, I don't care how long it was. I don't care if you broke a sweat. Let's just write 10 minutes, two miles, five minutes, whatever. Just, we'll all know what we're talking about and you can even do a little, Runner girl emoji if you want. Like, I think that'd be fun. And help motivate yeah, it's cool. each that'd other. Be good. Like, Everybody can be like, hey, good job, Susie, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. 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 Let's right. do it. Okay, we're gonna sign off tonight and we will see you guys next time. Maybe I need a break.